created by my guide. Civil Engineering Civil engineering is arguably the oldest engineering discipline. It deals with the built environment and can be dated to the first time someone placed a roof over his or her head or laid a tree trunk across a river to make it easier to get across. The built environment encompasses much of what defines modern civilization. Buildings and bridges are often the first constructions that come to mind, as they are the most conspicuous creations of structural engineering. One of civil engineering's major subdisciplines. Roads, railroads, subway systems, and airports are designed by transportation engineers, another category of civil engineering. And then there are the less visible creations of civil engineers. Every time you open a water faucet, you expect water to come out, without thinking that civil engineers made it possible. New York City has one of the world's most impressive water supply systems, receiving billions of gallons of high-quality water from the Catskills over one. Hundred miles away. Similarly, not many people seem to worry about what happens to the water after it has served its purposes. The old civil engineering discipline of sanitary engineering has evolved into modern environmental engineering of such significance that most academic departments have changed their names to civil and environmental engineering. These few examples illustrate that civil engineers do a lot more than design buildings and bridges. They can be found in the aerospace industry, designing jetliners and space stations, in the automotive industry, perfecting the load-carrying capacity of a chassis and improving the crashworthiness of bumpers and doors, and they can be found in the shipbuilding industry, the power industry, and many other industries wherever constructed facilities are involved. And they plan and oversee the construction of these facilities as construction managers. Civil engineering is an exciting profession because at the end of the day, you can see the results of your work, whether this is a completed bridge, a high-rise building, a subway station, or a hydroelectric dam. Civil engineering is a professional engineering discipline that deals with the design, construction, and maintenance of the physical and naturally built environment, including public works such as roads, bridges, canals, dams, airports, sewerage systems, pipelines, structural components of buildings, and railways. Civil engineering is traditionally broken into a number of sub-disciplines. It is considered the second oldest engineering discipline after military engineering, and it is defined to distinguish non-military engineering from military. Engineering Civil engineering takes place in the public sector from municipal through to national governments, and in the private sector from individual homeowners through to international companies. Civil engineering is the application of physical and scientific principles for solving the problems of society, and its history is intricately linked to advances in the understanding of physics and mathematics throughout history. Because civil engineering is a wide-ranging profession, including several specialized sub-disciplines, its history is linked to knowledge of structures. Material science, geography, geology, soils, hydrology, environment, mechanics, and other fields. Throughout ancient and medieval history most architectural design and construction was carried out by artisans, such as stonemasons and carpenters. Rising to the role of master builder. Knowledge was retained in guilds and seldom supplanted by advances. Structures, roads, and infrastructure that existed were repetitive, and increases in scale were incremental. One of the earliest examples of a scientific approach to physical and mathematical problems applicable to civil engineering is the work of Archimedes in the 3rd century BC including Archimedes' principle, which underpins our understanding of buoyancy, and practical solutions such as Archimedes' screw. Brahmagupta, an Indian mathematician, 
used arithmetic in the 7th century AD, based on Hindu Arabic numerals, for excavation computations. Engineering has been an aspect of life since the beginnings of human existence. The earliest practice of civil engineering may have commenced between 4000 and 2000 BC in ancient Egypt, the Indus Valley Civilization, and Mesopotamia when humans started to abandon a nomadic existence, creating a need for the construction of shelter. During this time, transportation became increasingly important leading to the development of the wheel and sailing. Until modern times there was no clear distinction between civil engineering and architecture, and the term engineer and architect were mainly geographical. Variations referring to the same occupation. And often used interchangeably. The construction of pyramids in Egypt were some of the first instances of large structure constructions. Other ancient historic civil engineering constructions include the Kanat water management system, the oldest is older than 3,000 years and longer than 71 kilometers. The Parthenon by Actinos in ancient Greece, the Appian Way by Roman engineers, the Great Wall of China by General Meng Tian under orders from Qin. Emperor Shi Huang Ti and the stupas constructed in ancient Sri Lanka like the Jet of Aramea and the extensive irrigation works in Inaratapura. The Romans developed civil structures throughout their empire, including especially aqueducts, insulae, harbors, bridges, dams and roads. In the 18th century, the term civil engineering was coined to incorporate all things civilian as opposed to military engineering. The first self-proclaimed civil engineer was John Smeaton, who constructed the Eddystone Lighthouse. In 1771 Smeaton and some of his colleagues formed the Smeatonian Society of Civil Engineers, a group of leaders of the profession who met informally over dinner. Though there was evidence of some technical meetings, it was little more than a social society. John Smeaton, the father of civil engineering in 1818 the Institution of Civil Engineers was founded in London, and in 1820 the eminent engineer Thomas. Telford became its first president. The institution received a royal charter in 1828, formally recognizing civil engineering as a profession. Civil engineering is the design and construction of public works, such as dams, bridges, and other large infrastructure projects. It is one of the oldest branches of engineering, dating back to when people first started living in permanent settlements and began shaping their environments to suit their needs. Early engineers built walls, roads, bridges, dams, and levees, they dug wells, irrigation ditches and trenches. As larger groups of people began living together in towns and cities, these populations needed reliable sources of clean water. The means to dispose of waste, a network of streets and roadways for commerce and trade, and a way to defend themselves against hostile neighbors. Ancient civil engineering projects include the roads of the Roman Empire, the Great Wall of China, the cliff dwellings at Mesa Verde, and Mayan ruins at Copan. Palenque and Tikal Many early civilizations built monuments to their rulers or gods. These may have been simple mounds or truly remarkable achievements, such as the pyramids of Giza and Stonehenge, whose construction by pre-industrial societies remains mysterious. The names of the engineers who designed these wonders are lost to antiquity. Today, the public is more likely to remember the names of great civil engineering projects than the names of the engineers who designed and built them. These include the Brooklyn Bridge, designed by John August Roebling and son Washington Roebling, the Hoover Dam, John L. Savage, the Panama Canal, John Frank Stevens, and the Golden Gate Bridge, Joseph Strauss and Charles Ellis. One notable exception is the Eiffel Tower, named after Gustave Eiffel, the French civil engineer whose company built it. Civil Engineering Thank you for watching this video. Convert any text or PowerPoint to video, 
using my guide for free. Just Google my guide.